tonight on Left Hook Right Jab, we're talking about the shakeup in the White House. Press Secretary Sean Spicer resigned last Friday, and President Trump brought in a new communications director who promises to do a better job to get out the president's message. KXL's Lars Larson and former Portland City Commissioner Steve Novick join us now to talk about that. And your question tonight, why does the president seem to be dogged by bad press? Is it a problem with the spokespeople, the media, or could it be his own actions? Lars, you're up first. Actually, Laurel, I'm glad to see him make a few changes at the White House. I thought that Sean Spicer did a fine job, but you notice that Anthony Scaramucci does a very good job of explaining things, and I think Sarah Huckabee Sanders is going to do a good job as well. But here's the essential problem for this president and this president only. He's got a fake stream media that continues to pump out fake news, and they've been caught a few times and not other times. And so as a result, his communications director and his press secretary are constantly having to battle with reporters who want to find their own meme in there, their own narrative, and not necessarily the real story, Steve. Lars, if you think the media is being unusually tough in this president, you're forgetting the first few months of Bill Clinton's term. They were declaring his presidency dead within two weeks. They said there was a huge scandal that he fired some people in the travel office. That changed when he started getting some things done. One of Trump's big problems is he's not getting the things done he said he was going to do. He said he was going to repeal and replace Obamacare and not cut Medicaid. He's failed to pass a health care bill, but he's tried to pass one that would cut Medicaid. He said he was going to stand up for the little guy. He surrounded himself with billionaires, and he's developing a government by the rich, of the rich, and for the rich. He said he was going to rebuild America's infrastructure. He has no infrastructure plan. So since he has no accomplishments, the media focus on that, and they focus on things like his ridiculous tweets and the Russia deal. Well, let me tell you, Steve, when you want to blame him for things that aren't happening on Capitol Hill, I blame the Democrats who've refused to play ball and a certain number of Republicans who've said, we're not going to pass anything either. Last time I checked the Constitution, Steve, it's not the president's job to pass legislation. <laughs> it's the Congress's job. As for how things are going for the little guy, regulations are down, coal production is up, gas okay. production's up, oil production's up, and other potential new investments in America are up. I think Trump's doing a great job. Uh, well, it's a good point that the one thing Trump has succeeded in doing is rolling back environmental protections, which isn't very popular. Most Americans wanted to stay in the Paris Climate Agreement because they realized that climate change is real. Uh, but uh, as far as the, the Congress is concerned, every president gets blamed if he can't bring Congress along with him. Clinton got some credit when he got Congress to pass his deficit reduction bill, which raised taxes on rich people. Bush got praised when he got Congress to pass his Medicare bill. Presidents take the blame for not getting things through Congress. That's the way it always works. Well, President Trump laid it out today and told the Senate, you better get out there and fulfill the promises you made not to Donald Trump, but to the American public. And as far as the Paris Climate Agreement, you mean the one that let the Chinese mm -hmm. continue to increase their pollution? They are the number one polluter on the globe, while America is supposed to retard its mm -hmm. economy and cut back on pollution? That deal is one we should have been out of before Trump came into office, Steve. <laughs> The fact remains they haven't passed a health care bill and Trump's been pushing a bill that cuts Medicaid, which he repeatedly promised he would not do. <laughs> and I'm out of time. I think you're out of time. <laughs> Gentlemen, thank you for joining thank us you, for a left hook, right jab. We'll see you next week.